For a long time, Russia relied heavily on Western companies for key technologies, especially turbines, which power its cities and industrial zones. But in 2022, everything changed. As Western companies withdrew due to sanctions, Russia faced an energy crisis. Instead of collapsing under pressure, Russia took matters into its own hands. It developed the GTD-110M gas turbine, a technological breakthrough that not only solved its energy challenges, but also made Russia a potential competitor in the global energy market. So how did Russia do it? What makes the GTD-110M so special? Let's find out in today's episode. In October this year, Technoprom Export, a subsidiary of Rostec State Corporation, successfully completed full-scale testing of the power generation equipment of the third power unit of the Udernaya nuclear power plant in the Krasnodar territory. For the first time, the domestic GTD-110M high-power gas turbine produced by the United Engine Corporation, part of Rostec, was used. The power unit's equipment passed comprehensive tests and operated for 72 hours at full load, supplying electricity to the country's unified energy system. All declared technical characteristics were confirmed. The launch of the third power unit of Udernaya has become an important step in solving the problem of achieving technological sovereignty and energy security of the entire country. The corporation is actively developing in the field of power engineering and intends to continue building modern, efficient, and reliable production facilities. The GTD-110M gas turbine used at the thermal power plant was created to replace imported equipment and is a long-awaited power generation equipment for the domestic energy sector, said Vladimir Artikov, first deputy general director of Rostec State Corporation. In a ceremony broadcast on state television, Putin said, the fact that we have new production facilities and that we are becoming independent, sovereign in technology, at least in this segment, is very important. The project is especially important for the Krasnodar region and the entire south of Russia, given the rapid growth of electricity generation and consumption in the region. The new thermal power plant will provide electricity to the housing and communal services sector, as well as industrial enterprises in the region, and will also increase the reliability of the energy system during peak load periods. The GTE-110M high-power gas turbine is the first domestic power plant of its kind, designed to replace foreign analogs. The turbine is designed for use as a part of gas turbine power plants and combined cycle plants. In March this year, the first power unit of the Udernaya power plant with a capacity of 230 megawatts began operation. A second similar power unit was launched in April. The installed capacity of the plant, including the third unit, is 560 megawatts. A project to further expand the capacity of Udernaya is currently under development. Thanks for watching this far. Please support us by liking and commenting on this video. Also, don't forget to check if you subscribe to the channel so you will be the first to see our next video. Thanks so much for your support. The corporation is planning to increase the volume of mass production of high power gas turbines GTD-110M. An agreement on the intention to interact and cooperate in the production and supply of high power gas turbines was signed within the framework of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum with the Ministry of Industry and Trade and Gazprom. The document was signed by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation, Denis Manturov, General Director of Rostec State Corporation, Sergei Chemizov, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of PJSC Gazprom Alexei Miller. According to the plan, the Rubinsk Enterprise of the United Engine Corporation will produce at least four engines per year. The agreement will help consolidate the efforts of the three parties in the production and supply of high-power gas turbines. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation, Denis Manturov said that the implementation of this project will help meet the demand for fuel and power complexes for large-capacity gas turbines and thereby increase the country's energy security. Through this agreement, Sergei Chemezov affirmed that the high-power gas turbine GTD-110M is a real breakthrough for Russian machine builders. This is the most important project for the country. Rustec has successfully launched the production of this power unit. Recently, the first production model was handed over to the customer for the Udernaya power plant in the Krasnodar territory. The demand for such power plants is very high. If initially Russia planned to assemble two products per year, now it faces the minimal task of increasing production to four products per year, including the interests of Gazprom partners. 
To do this, Rostec plans to build a new mechanical assembly complex in Rybinsk, which will be equipped with high-tech equipment as well as modernize a number of existing workshops. GTD 110M is a series high power gas turbine engine designed for use as part of gas pumping units, gas turbine power plants, and combined cycle gas plants at power generation facilities of the Unified Energy System of Russia. The engine is designed to drive generators as part of gas turbine power plants and combined cycle plants with an electric capacity of 115 MW and compressors as part of gas pumping units. The engine's distinctive features compared to foreign analogs are its lower weight and dimensions, as well as high fuel efficiency. So why are gas turbines such a big deal? As mentioned, Russia used to rely on Western giants like Siemens and General Electric GE to supply gas turbines, a core technology that keeps the country's power grid and industry running. Why? The story begins in the 1990, when the Soviet Union collapsed. With its collapse, Russia lost a large portion of its skilled engineers, high-tech factories, and infrastructure needed to manufacture. At first, partnering with foreign companies like Siemens and GE wasn't a bad idea. Western turbines were highly regarded for their reliability, efficiency, and innovation. But over time, the picture became less than ideal. The rising cost of buying new turbines, coupled with the rising costs of maintenance and repair, made Russia increasingly dependent on foreign suppliers. This created a costly and unsustainable cycle in which Russia continued to pay huge sums to maintain its energy infrastructure. The turning point came in 2022 when Western sanctions were imposed on Russia. Companies like Siemens and GE immediately withdrew from the market, ceasing to supply both new turbines and maintenance services for existing turbines. This effectively turned off Russia's energy supply. Faced with this dire situation, Russia realized that it could no longer rely on foreign technology for such a critical part of its national infrastructure. Determined to regain control of its energy future, Russia launched a large-scale and ambitious engineering effort. Russia's top engineers embarked on research, development, and testing, despite numerous initial difficulties and failures. The result is the GTD-110M, a powerful and efficient gas turbine built entirely in-house. And what makes the GTD-110M so special and groundbreaking lies in three main factors, power, technological autonomy, and economic efficiency. First, this turbine has outstanding power and efficiency. It is designed to provide electricity to an entire city. Yes, a city with thousands of households. Not only that, the turbine is powerful enough to operate large factories and ensure stable operations for important industries. This contributes to maintaining the rhythm of urban life, promoting industrial production, and ensuring the smooth operation of the economy. Second, the GTD-110M turbine is completely domestically produced in Russia from design, testing, to maintenance. This marks an important step forward as Russia has completely freed itself from dependence on technology and services from Western companies. Previously, when it was necessary to repair or replace components, Russia had to pay huge costs to foreign manufacturers. Now, with the ability to control the entire production and operation process, Russia is not only proactive in ensuring energy supplies, but also improving domestic technical and industrial capacity. Finally, this turbine brings significant economic efficiency. Self-production of turbines instead of importing helps Russia save millions of dollars in costs in the long term. Instead of pouring money into the pockets of foreign manufacturers, Russia is reinvesting in its own engineering and technology industry. This not only helps improve the level of domestic science and technology, but also creates more jobs, promoting sustainable development for the national economy. And in case you're wondering why Russia didn't develop this technology sooner, the answer is simple. Building a large-scale gas turbine is a highly complex engineering challenge that requires a high level of expertise in many areas such as material science, heat transfer, aerodynamics, and precision engineering. Every element of the turbine, from the heat resistance of the materials, to the optimized combustion airflow for high efficiency, to the precise operating mechanism in extreme conditions, requires meticulous calculation and refinement. Russia has tried to develop large-scale gas turbines in the past, but the process has not been smooth. In 2017, for example, 
one of Russia's experimental turbines exploded during the testing phase. The incident was a major blow to the project, highlighting the technical challenges Russia faces. However, failure is an inevitable part of any effort to research and develop advanced technology. Instead of stopping, Russia took this as a valuable lesson to improve and continue moving forward. After years of relentless efforts, the final result has come. Russia successfully built the GT-110M, a large capacity gas turbine that is reliable, efficient, and entirely developed by domestic engineers. However, this story is not only about technical achievements, but also about political issues. In 2014, after Russia annexed Crimea, relations between Russia and the West became tense. Large companies such as Siemens began to scale back their operations in Russia, gradually withdrawing from the market. This created a huge gap in the field of turbine technology and forced Russia to develop its own technology to ensure energy security. The withdrawal of the West is not only a challenge, but also a catalyst for Russia to invest heavily in domestic technological research and innovation. The GTE-110M, born after many years of perseverance and innovation, is a clear demonstration of the effectiveness of this strategy. Not only demonstrating technological autonomy, this success also marks an important step forward in affirming Russia's position in the global energy market. In short, the development of the GTD-110M is a major step towards national independence. By protecting its energy infrastructure and moving away from dependence on foreign technology, Russia has positioned itself as a serious player in the global energy market. This turbine could be just the beginning. If Russia continues to invest in technology and innovation, we could see even more groundbreaking advances from the country in the near future. What do you think? Will Russia's GTD-110M help them dominate the global energy industry? Or is this just the first chapter of a larger story? Moscow, June 28th, Russian President Vladimir Putin stated that the plan to develop the high-thrust PD-35 turbofan engine will be implemented, and he is confident that its production is being planned and will absolutely take place. Until it is mass-produced, there is no doubt that it will be a significant step forward for Russia's aviation industry. But why could PD-35 have such a major effect on aviation in this country? How might it pose a threat to Western engines, such as those from Rolls-Royce and General Electric? The first stage of the PD-35 Technology Demonstrator engine testing program has been fully completed. During the tests, the takeoff mode was achieved multiple times with the engine thrust of 35 tons. The parameters and characteristics of the PD-35 were collected. The predicted values were met, confirming the correctness of the chosen technical solutions, which allows Russia to begin the development of promising high-thrust domestic engines. This was shown at the 2024 International Engine Manufacturing Forum. The United Engine Corporation of Rostec, a part of the state corporation, first presented at the forum important developments used in the production of the Engine Technology Demonstrator engine. The PD-35 engine plays a crucial role in Russia's aviation industry and global engine manufacturing technology. With a thrust of 35 tons, it meets the needs of large cargo and commercial aircraft, allowing Russia to compete directly with leading manufacturers like General Electric and Rolls-Royce. It is still under planning, but I don't doubt that these plans will be implemented. Then we will have our own engine for wide-body long-haul aircraft, Putin said at a meeting with the graduates of the Higher School of Public Administration of the Russian Academy of National Economy and Public Administration on June. The PD-35 ultra-high thrust engine is not just an engine with a slightly greater thrust. It is, by many parameters, a qualitatively new product, he said. The development of this engine will mark a significant step towards technological independence, reducing reliance on imports and strengthening Russia's position in the defense and aviation industries. It also drives innovation in new materials and advanced technologies, expanding its applications to various other industries. Furthermore, with all the things it can provide for aircraft, it is not just a technological product, but also a symbol of Russia's capacity for innovation and remarkable progress in the field of aircraft engine manufacturing. So what specifically makes it special? But first, it would be amazing if you could give us a boost of energy to keep creating awesome content by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Firstly, one of the standout features of the PD-35 is the use of advanced 3D printing technology, which allows the creation of parts with complex shapes and the highest level of precision. 
This technology enables the manufacturing of components layer by layer according to strict standards, ensuring durability and the ability to withstand heavy loads. Notably, the working blades and the nozzle blades of the low-pressure turbine of this engine, first presented at the forum, serve as clear evidence of the success of applying advanced manufacturing techniques to create crucial components. Secondly, UEC introduced a fan made from composite polymer material, which helps reduce the weight of components by up to 30%, opening new opportunities in modern engine design. Advanced manufacturing technology and composite materials not only improve performance, but also play a crucial role in the production of advanced aircraft engines like the PD-35. Currently, only General Electric and Rolls-Royce possess similar developments, highlighting the position of the Russian engine in the global technological race. Moreover, this Russian engine is designed as a platform to test and demonstrate the maturity of key technologies before applying them to advanced engine projects. This program includes the development of engine systems with thrust ranging from 24 to 50 tons, meeting the diverse needs of both civil and military aviation. This not only strengthens Russia's self-sufficiency in the aviation sector, but also lays the foundation for the development of more powerful engine generations in the future, as mentioned above. However, the PD-35 stands out not only for its impressive thrust, but also for its ability to incorporate cutting-edge technologies like 3D printing, composite materials, and new heat-resistant alloys. These advancements enhance engine performance, streamline production processes, and shorten development timelines. Through the engine, Russia is not just establishing its separate position in the aviation sector, but also paving the way for future innovations in global engine manufacturing. PD-35 versus Rolls-Royce and GE engines have similarities in fan ablated materials. So, are there any differences that can be observed when comparing it to the engines of Rolls-Royce and GE? When comparing Russia's PD-35 engine with the advanced products from leading engine manufacturers like General Electric and Rolls-Royce, there are several key strengths of the Russian engine that stand out, even though it still has some weaknesses that need to be conquered. In terms of thrust, as mentioned, the P-35 is capable of generating a maximum thrust of up to 35 tons, 77 200 pound force, making it suitable for large aircraft such as transport planes or long-haul passenger jets. This represents a